Hi Gemini, welcome back. This is going to be a bonus reading for February 2023. Always take what resonates and then at any time you would like me to tune in to just your energy, you can click on the link below. It'll take you right over to my Etsy shop. And over there I offer a variety of readings. It is on vacation mode right now, but only moment, momentarily as I get caught up on the readings that I have. A few too many came in at one time, but for those of you that are interested, just favorite the shop. And then when I take it off vacation mode, you'll get that notification. Um, for the month of February, for those of you that are new, go ahead and subscribe. I'm grateful you're here. I do monthly giveaways each and every month. This month with Valentine's Day being included in this month, I'm giving away three free love readings at the end of the month. You just need to be a subscriber and leave a heart emoji in the comment section of each reading that you view of mine during the month of um, February. I'm going to initially reach out to you on YouTube to let you know that you won the reading of the, the three random people I choose. And then I will always direct you right over to my Etsy shop to contact seller and then we'll finish it over there where it's protected. Anytime you receive a message posing as me from like WhatsApp, um, I've, I've, only, I've only ever seen WhatsApp so far, I would never contact you and ask you to purchase a reading from me. So don't ever engage. I am trying to stay on top of it and report it to YouTube each time it comes through. Um, but the only thing I ever do is my personal, my these readings here on YouTube and then my personal readings over on Etsy. They're the only two things. Other people have sent me tips like through here, um, through YouTube. They've sent me tips through like PayPal. But again, like they've reached out to me saying I want to send a, um, a contribution. How do I do that? But it was always like, you know, they reached out to me first. Don't ever engage in something that seems shady. All right, for my Geminis. All right, Spirit, for my Geminis. All right, Phoenix Rising, 25. That's amazing. A transformation that has gone through most of you. A lot of growth. A lot of learning. A lot of closing chapters that no longer belong opened in your life. usually happens during a time of an, a hard ending, a crisis. That's definitely when I had my spiritual awakening. 25 and wish. 35. 25 and 35. Your heart's desire is coming true. All right, let's see. Destruction, see, just like I said, through a hard ending is usually when a phoenix rising happens. I feel like someone's coming back asking for forgiveness. That hard ending could have stemmed from fear. They could, you know, you could have possibly been not in the best energy going through some darkness. The person that you've, you're dealing with or have dealt with could have been going through some darkness. And it wasn't the best energy for the two of you. Totally changing how you look at things. That is what a phoenix rising is. Getting a different perspective. Now living your life out of gratitude. Which completely changes how you look at your day. Not seeing anything through an illusion. All right, let's see what is coming towards you. For some of you, you could have been dealing with a Libra or you have Libra in your chart.
could have been dealing with a fire sign. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. All right, current situation. King of Pentacles. So you may have an earth sign in your, in your life currently. You could also have earth in your chart, Gemini. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Working on your finances and your stability. You may be thinking about opening up your own business or put, maybe putting in for promotion rising up the ladder in your career but like also like I said you could be dealing with a king of pentacles someone who is very grounded and stable has long term to offer sometimes is a little bit cocky because they've worked so hard for what they have hanged man energy that's the energy of looking things from a different perspective being in like the hanged man energy, looking for the light at the end of the tunnel. Ten of swords, there's that destruction, that phoenix rising, that they stemmed from this hard ending. It's going to be different for each and every one of you. Future, you're moving ahead. Yin and yang, on that chariot with yin and yang as the horses, moving towards peace and harmony. Better days ahead. Not looking at the past anymore. See how the stars are following you? They're lighting the path for that you're meant to be on. What you need to embrace is the hardship that you went through. The ending that you went through. The loss that you felt. Embrace it. But let it go. Because when you manifest out of an energy of feeling a lack. That's what continues to happen in your life. You have to like let it, embrace it and let it go. Increase your vibration. Attract those blessings to you. You're moving past that. And what you're embracing is the strength. Definitely could be dealing with a fire sign. But the strength that you have found within you to move on to start brand new to learn lessons and not bring that emotional baggage with you what is going to be the overall outcome for Gemini in this reading the devil breaking free from any place where you felt defeated The Ten of Cups. Who is this Ten of Cups with? Let's see, let's see. Seven of Cups. Like I said, you may have a couple offers. Here we've got the Earth Energy. At the bottom, the Fire Energy wanted to pop up. And as I say that, look what happens. The Five of Wands. Could have been dealing with someone who just wasn't ready for a commitment. They had fire in their chart. But now they're coming in as fire energy. I mean, as kink energy. Ready for commitment. And look how he's looking over at his empress. Do you see that? Like I said, you may have Libra in your chart, but it's also the energy of an air sign, which is the empress. And look at how this fire sign is eyeing this empress up. The past. I feel like you're definitely going to have to make a choice for some of you say this current person you're with I feel like you work as a team with it's like an equal give and take a definitely a sense of stability here there's definitely going to be a breakthrough though brand new idea brand new beginning somewhere for you Gemini like I said could be a brand new job um, something that you've wanted to start for yourself and you've procrastinated on 
Here's the Knight of Cups coming. So we have Earth energy, we have Water energy, and we have Fire energy. So take it how it resonates, because you may have those placements in your chart. And where they didn't want to make a decision, now they're coming towards you. Breaking free from feeling lack or loss. And there's definitely communication coming in. All right. Where is the progress, spirit? What are, what is the choices that Gemini is going to have to make? See, I feel like you're going to have a couple choices to make, but you're going to go with whom your heart is drawn towards, where you feel like it's a wish coming true for you. I feel like in one situation, it's felt like an uphill battle. But there's definitely somebody who's looking at their life completely different and is now coming towards you asking for forgiveness. See, wish is coming true. That's why I say raise your energy, Gemini. Raise it. Because for those of you that are single and have no kind of choice in your, you know, there's not, you don't have anyone you're really interested in, you're going to have a couple options. But you've got to attract that love in your life. If you're feeling down, anxiety, stress, depressed, you're obviously not going to call in anything. But see... For some of you, it's going to happen by the fall. It says, yes, the time has come to harvest. And look at this. As I say that, temperance comes out within 14 to 30 days from the time you see this reading. Or as far out as the fall, November 22nd to De December 21st. And there's the communication coming in. The letter. If you receive a letter from someone, that's amazing. Because like I say, who sends letter these days? But it's the wheel of fortune turning in your favor. I feel someone is definitely replaying memories of the two of you. Looking at old photos. Even if they have a voicemail saved of you. You also may be in that energy, Gemini. And they're coming in for the long haul. There might be some traveling involved they may be in a different state a different country but with the bridge here not only do i get the energy of mending and allowing communication but some traveling might be involved but to go to the distance all right let's see what else for gemini spirit Yeah, see, don't lose your grounding. That that transformation that you've went through, you've been through so much. Do not lose your stability in this connection. Even if it's someone you've desired and manifested and maybe silently thought of each and every day, do not let that rock your stability when the communication comes in. All right, let's see. There's I miss you. See what I mean? From Gemini's person to Gemini. All right, let's see what we got. Let me get the one that fell on the floor. You were the best thing that happened to me. You are the best thing that ever happened to me. You bring light into my darkness. I think about you so much. And like I said, with memory here, that's definitely the case. And I miss you. All right, Gemini, let's get some. Now, look for your initials, the person that came to mind when you heard this reading. If there are no initials, but the reading completely resonates or does resonate to a point, take what resonates. And then at any time you would like me to focus in on your energy and someone specific that you may be thinking about, just click on the link down below to my Etsy shop. We have R, L, 
N as in no, G, C, W, a blank one, M as in Mike, E, I, V as in Vanessa, O, T, Tamara, F, Fran or Frank, and then there's, these are all repeats. All right, so focus in on the, you know, what I said to you, what actually came through on the cards, and always let me know how it resonates. Make sure you leave that heart emoji for those of you that are interested um, in a personal reading, a personal free love reading. All right, love and light. Have a great weekend.